Hi guys, just checking in on you. And I've been very busy in my own community. Everyone's wondering, what are you doing? What are you doing these days? Well, I'm kind of advising here, helping there, exposing this, exposing that. And it, it, at the same time, I'm dealing with personal loss. I don't know if you guys follow my ex, but I lost several pets in the last four months, uh, three to be exact. So it was kind of, kind of hard when you lose a, a long-standing relationship like that. Uh, but we're moving on and we're moving forward. We have them in our hearts. And the thing that I've been working on mostly is I've been helping candidates who are kind of outside the mainstream. And I, before we, I went on this hiatus, uh, I was talking about central committees and I was encouraging people to run for central committees because I was noticing that the establishment GOP, or what we call the rhinos, the Republicans in name only, were really in deep at the local level through the central committees. And in my own community, we have a mayor across the way he, in Lancaster who not only is very, very well known to all the central committees, but he's donated lots and lots of money to get these people elected. So a lot of these people owe favors to this person. And I've been doing my best to try to expose some of this stuff that this person's been doing because they ended up getting the GOP nod. And when I look at that person as a candidate and I go, you made a deal with China. There's a Chinese company, BYD, right here in my own backyard that got federal funding suspended by my U.S. Um, senator, um, or my representative, Mike Garcia. And I'm wondering why did they get the GOP nod? So, you know, I made a couple phone calls and texts and I said, hey, you guys probably want to reevaluate this. And this is what I've been doing. And you notice I'm wearing my hamburger for Senate. He's another candidate who is running against an, an establishment type person. He's running against Suzette Martinez Viradares, who already represented Santa Clarita and parts of the Antelope Valley once before and actually was um, uh, removed in the last election because she voted with the Democrats to enshrine abortion up until nine months in the state of California. When you push her on the issue, you, you say, you know, why did you do it? Why did you do it? She always kind of throws it back and says, well, I personally believe this, but I wanted to give the choice back to the voters. And that's where we as grassroots are saying, you know what, we need candidates who are going to um, listen to the electorate. The electorate chose you for a reason and to make these decisions. And when you make these decisions that are wrong, the electorate removes you. You have been removed. And now you're looking for a state Senate seat? Like, come on, guys. So if you can help a local grassroots candidate who actually uh, may be a long shot, but definitely stands up to your values and your principles and says, says speaks to you and says, you know what, if I were to pick up the phone or write an email, would that person get back to me? I know for a fact that I have Ms. Villadares' phone number. I have texted her. I have emailed her and I've never gotten a response. I know that this candidate, I have text, I have emailed, and I always get a response and I'm all. And this is the type of candidate that we're looking for and someone who's going to be beholden to the people, not so much to their donors, that donor class. And we're seeing this and we're calling it, I guess you could call it, call it the Uniparty. If you've read 1984, that's something extremely important for everybody to read and to understand that we're watching the erasure and the oppression of people in real time. What they're doing to Donald Trump with his properties in, in New York is, is disgusting. Nobody sued him. Nobody the banks didn't cry foul. The banks made their money and moved on. And it's the state saying, oh, no, we're, we're looking this over. And if they can do this to Donald Trump and say, hey, you know, we're going to reassess and we're going to sue you and start taking your money by saying, well, you know, your building is valued at this and this is what we're going to take for it. And now you still owe us this amount of money. They can do this to anybody. And I'm seeing businesses running from New York. Businesses are running from California. Uh, I may be planning my exodus here pretty soon, but until then, I'm still going to fight. I'm still going to be focused on what's going on locally. And as kind of something even nationally that I'm, gonna, that I'm doing is I'm going to be going to Rhode Island this weekend. I'm going to be uh, working with the Leadership Institute so that I can help bring this organization that I have here in Palmdale to other communities and teach them how to organize, how to strategize, and how to endure beyond a single election, beyond a single issue, and support their communities in a meaningful, positive way. So, and just to throw it all in there, this Thursday, I'm going to be cleaning up graffiti in my own city. You know, there's, there's hardly any time for anything these days. But I will try to make more time for you guys. And I love you guys all. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah! Bye, guys.